Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold your soul if you're coming across the server stumbled error on your Microsoft Windows Store. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu. Just off call and start button one time. Type in WS Reset. Best match to come back with WS Reset here. Go ahead and right click on that. And then left click on Run as Administrator. Give it a moment here. So you can close that here, it looks like it's working fine. So if you're still experiencing an issue, you can go ahead and open up the start menu, type in services, best match, you'll come back with services right above app. Go ahead and left click on that. First service you want to locate is the background intelligence transfer service. So go double click on that. Make sure startup type is either automatic or automatic delayed start. And service status is also running. So if it's currently stopped, you want to select the start option and then select apply and OK to save the change. You want to locate the Windows Update service now, so you might have to scroll down a little bit for that. Double click on that, same deal. Again, startup type automatic, and you want to make sure service status is started too. And then select OK. Once done with that, close out of here. Hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. Another thing you try to be to open up the Start menu, type in Apps and Features. Best match to come back with Apps and Features. Go ahead and left click on that. In the search this list field, you want to type in store. Best match to go back with Microsoft or Windows Store, and then select advanced options. Scroll down a little bit until you see the reset option where it says if this app isn't working right, reset it. This app will be reinstalled and revert to its default settings. Your documents will not be affected. Left click on the reset button. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign in details. Select reset to confirm. Once this is done, you have a check mark, you can close out of here. We would recommend restarting your computer and hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.